So what are conjugate acid-base pairs? First, recall that an acid is a proton donor and a base is a proton acceptor. An acid-base reaction is simply a proton transfer reaction. A proton is transferred from an acid to a base. When the proton is transferred from the acid, the acid is converted to its conjugate base. When the proton is accepted by the base, the base is converted to its conjugate acid. A conjugate acid-base pair will differ by one proton in its chemical formula. Let's take a look at an example. Here we have the reaction of acetic acid with ammonia to form acetate ion and ammonium ion. So acetic acid is the acid, ammonia is the base in this case. So the proton is going to be transferred from the acetic acid to ammonia to form ammonium ion. So let's take a look at the acid first. Notice when the acid donates the proton, it is converted to its ion, in this case acetate ion. So the acetate ion is the conjugate base of acetic acid. The formula differs by one proton. Re note that the base will always have one less proton than the acid in its formula. Ammonia, when it accepts the proton to become ammonium ion, is the conjugate acid now of ammonia. So looking at the reaction here, the conjugate acid-base pairs are acetic acid and acetate ion and ammonium ion and ammonia. Let's do a few more examples. So here we're asked to write the formula for the conjugate base of each one of these acids. So let's go ahead and look at the first one. Um, here, the first one, we have hydrochloric acid. Okay, so we want the conjugate base. Remember that hydrochloric acid donates the proton. When it donates a proton, then its conjugate base is the chloride ion. Sulfuric acid, okay, when it donates one proton, then we can write its conjugate base like so. And don't forget the negative charge. When one proton is donated, okay, the charge on the species decreases by one. Ammonium ion, when ammonium ion loses a proton, it becomes ammonia. Notice in this case, the charge on the species decrease by one. Phosphoric acid, it loses one proton. And here we have formula. And we have to include a negative charge. It lost a proton. Therefore, the conjugate base is going to have a negative charge. And then let's look at dihydrogen borate here. When dihydrogen borate loses a proton, its conjugate base then will have this formula. Notice that here the acid had a negative one charge. When it loses the proton, now the charge decreases. We have a negative two charge. So let's go ahead and write the formulas for the conjugate acid for each one of these bases. Now, Remember, the conjugate acid is going to have one more proton than the base. So in this case here, for our hydroxide ion, what we're going to end up with is water, or we should write it like so. Notice that in this case, when a proton is added, that our charge increases by one. So we went from a negative charge to a zero charge or a neutral species. So the conjugate acid for carbonate, again, we'll put a proton on the carbonate ion. And what we end up with is hydrogen carbonate. Again, we added the proton, the charge increased by one. Here, hydrogen phosphate, so its conjugate acid would be dihydrogen phosphate. Water, well, 
water's conjugate acid is going to be the hydronium ion. It has one more, uh, the conjugate acid has one more proton and the charge has increased by one. And then this species here, recall we're just looking at the hydrogens bonded to the nitrogen because remember nitrogen has that lone pair of electrons which is a requirement for a base. So we would write this as, all right, so we have one more proton here, and also there would be a positive charge. So I hope this helps when you're trying to determine how to write the formulas for conjugate acid-base pairs.